Welcome to the Laravel Collections Guide. In this series, we take a look at each of the available methods in the Laravel Collection class and dive deep through examples in explaining what it does. Today, we're going to be taking a look at each and each spread, two useful utility methods that will allow you to pass each of the elements through a callback. So as always, let's start with our first example. So we will collect a simple array with four integers in it, and then let's call the each method on it. Each accepts one parameter, and it's going to be a callback. We will receive the value, and if you needed the key, you can accept that as a second argument, but we'll keep it as a single argument for now. And then in here, you could do anything you want. Each of the items will get passed into this closure, and then at that point, it's up to you on what you need to do. Now, this is different from map, right? So this will not save back to a collection. It will not even return a collection at all. This is to iterate through them and do something else. At this stage, you could do something like save it to the database or something like that. In our case, for the example, we're going to use the dump method and we're simply going to say the current value is, and then we'll pass in value and let's check out the results. So there we are. The current value is one, is two, is three, and is four. Again, each is a utility method, not a mapping method. So that's a very common misconception about each. You cannot do something like return back to each and expect that to change your collection. It doesn't do that. It doesn't affect the collection at all. The only thing that it does is invoke this callback that you're passing in, this callback right here. It's the only thing it does. So keep that in mind. Another feature of the each method is that if you return false at any point, it stops iterating through the values. And we can demonstrate that by putting an if statement. Let's say if the value is greater than two, return false. And now we get the current value is one and is two. And then when it gets to three, it bumps into this if statement here and returns false and it stops iterating through the items. Very useful. Now let me change this example up a little bit to show you something else. Let's start a new collection and we're going to have bananas. 45 is going to be a quantity and then we're going to say California as in the location that they're in. And then let's change this up a little bit and say apples are in Florida and we'll have 20 of those. And finally, coconuts we will have 60 of them and they are in Texas. So for this next example, I'm going to use the each method, and then I'm going to show you each spread to show you how we can improve your code. So let's say each and then pass in our callback value. And as we've done before, let's just simply dump just for demonstration purposes. And we'll say we have. And so if I want to put the quantity, we can say value. And of course, we'd have to pass in an index. So this is zero, one and two. So we'll pass in one. So we have X amount of bananas, for example. So if I wanted to grab this value, I need to call value. And that's an index zero in our, and then I want the location one more time value. And the index for the location is two. So we have X of this product in our, say, California store. Okay. There we are. So we have 45 bananas in our California store. We have 20 apples in our Florida store and we have 60 coconuts in our Texas store. So using the each, this gets a little confusing because you're referencing them by the index and value one may mean something to you today, but six months down the road, it will probably take you a couple of seconds to realize what value at key one is and what value in key zero is. So to avoid that issue, we can switch over to each spread instead. Very similar method. Instead of accepting a single value, you're going to accept as many values as there are columns in your collection. And what I mean by that is that the first variable is going to be this column. The second variable is going to be the second column and the third variable will be this third column. So we'll say product is our first column. Quantity is our second column and location is our third column. So that would allow us to rewrite this to we have quantity of product 
in our location store. Let's run that again and we get the exact same result. However, now it reads a little bit different. We have quantity of product in our location store. So that way you don't have to guess what the values are. It's very simple. So each spread will really clean up your code in something like this. So keep that in mind whenever you're using each or each spread.